Let's make a rainbow pillow. My name is Tiffany Hansen with Hooked for Hope. Thank you so much for joining me today. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make my rainbow pillow. I'm so excited. The rainbow pillow either holds significant sentimental value, or it can just be something that brings a huge smile, brings love, joy, and just happiness to whoever receives it. If at any point in this video you do like what you see, please push that thumbs up button. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to my channel and click the bell. That way you don't miss any of my new videos. I try to release a brand new video every single Friday covering a wide range of different types of crochet projects. And you're not going to want to miss out. All right, let's go ahead and dive right into what materials you're going to need to make this rainbow pillow. The materials that we're going to need in order to make this rainbow shaped pillow include an oval rug already created so if you need to just click on this link at the top of the screen it'll take you directly to my tutorial to make the oval shaped rug so when you're making your oval shaped rug just know that if you're using this foam pad that is 22 inches wide the biggest you want to make this oval shaped rug will be 11 inches from the center out anything bigger than that and this foam pad won't work for it Okay, so I already did the calculations and that will take you to row 27 of your oval shaped rug is the maximum row that you're going to be able to get to for this particular foam mat. For my example, I am using this smaller oval shape that is to row 13. Okay. I just want to use my example as a really small rainbow pillow because you can really just make this as tiny as you want up to as large as you want. All right, so again, we're gonna need a finished oval rug. You'll need a foam mat that is four inches by 22 inches by 22 inches. You will need a yarn that preferably matches the outer color, outermost color of your oval shaped rug. And we're gonna use this yarn to sew up the sides. You will need a yarn needle or tapestry needle to also help you sew up the sides. You'll need a tape measure. Doesn't have to be exactly like this. It can be any type of measuring tool, even a ruler if you have a ruler. So you measure the dimensions here and uh, apply it to your foam mat so you can cut out your shape from your foam mat. That's where the Sharpie or marker of any kind will come into handy. Once we measure out the dimensions of our shape, we're going to draw it on the foam mat and then cut it out. You'll need scissors. Okay, so once you have all of these materials all ready to go, we are ready to make our rainbow pillow. Okay, so we begin with our oval rug, our foam pad, your ruler or tape measure, and your marker. Okay, so go ahead and take your oval mat and fold it in half. So it lines up all the way around. Great. Okay, grab your ruler or your tape measure, and I want you to measure the center of your pillow, starting at the very base of your fold, all the way to the end of your oval rug here. Okay, so I, my first tally right here at the edge, follow it right in the middle of your oval rug, and I come up with nine inches, okay? So I'll write that down. You don't have to write this down, but I'm going to write this down just so that way you can see the visual. Nine inches that way. Okay. And then I want you to measure side to side of the oval rug. Okay. Not where the arch is. I want you to find where it's still flat on both sides and I want you to measure from one side all the way to the other. In my case, it's also nine inches, nine inches side to side. Okay, when you're looking at your foam pad here, the four inch depth, we're going to lose, when we wrap this around the pillow, we're going to lose four inches in the middle for the bottom 
and then we're going to lose four inches on the side of the pillow as well as the pieces are wrapping around the foam. If I know I'm going to lose two inches from the bottom, two inches from the sides because of all of the wrapping around this foam mat from here, the up and down portion, okay, again, I'm going to lose two inches from the bottom and I'm going to lose two inches from the top. Now, really, honestly, this yarn, when it stretches to go over the pillow, I probably only need about an inch and a half to accommodate. I won't need a full two inches, okay? Here, I will. So here, I'm going to give myself two inches. And then from the top, I'm going to subtract one and a half inches. So if I'm going to give myself, so minus two inches here and minus one and a half, inches, that's minus 3.5 inches. For this section right here, up and down, nine minus 3.5 equals 5.5 inches, okay? So 5.5 inches is all I will need to cut out of this foam pad in order for this pillow to work. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my measuring tape to the foam pad. I'm going to line my measuring tape up with the corner of the foam and five and a half inches. So one, two, three, four, five and a half, the middle right there. Okay. So that is my direct middle of the pillow, okay? Now go on the sides here, side to side, okay? Okay, I want to pull, I know that the sides are going to need to curve around the pillow, so I'm going to only come in an inch and a half, so one and a half, one and a half. So 1.5 plus 1.5 equals 3 inches, so that's 9 inches, so I'm going side to side. 9 minus 3 equals 6, 6 inches, okay? So then I'm going to come or bring my foam back, so 6 inches. I know this section right here was the exact center of my oval rug. So half of six is three. So make sure this lines up with the three. Okay. And then mark six, mark the zero. Okay, so that is my example. And then when I cut this out, it will fit within this space right here. If you're looking at your rainbow, and let's say yours is much bigger than mine, okay? What you're going to want to do is exactly what I did, okay? Still, first step, measure vertical from the exact middle of your oval shape half, that you fold it in half, okay? The very middle, measure vertical. How long is that gonna be? And then subtract three and a half inches from that number. Bring that to your foam. Find what that number is, the answer to your measurement minus three and a half, and then mark that off, okay? Then take your oval that's been folded in half. Again, looking at the straight sides. We don't want to touch the arc, okay? Looking at the straight sides, go side to side. Know that we're going to need to accommodate for the wrap over, so one and a half inches this way, one and a half inches that way. One and a half plus one and a half equals three. 
So you can basically take that number that you measure side to side and subtract three, okay? Move your oval rug, come back to your foam mat. This that you've already marked is dead center of your oval. Find however long you measured out your oval shape side to be, subtract three, and then line up half of that, whatever number, if your number was 12, half of 12 is six. So you'd put six along, aligned with dead center. If half of your pillow, the sides of your pillow minus three was 16, half of 16 is eight. So I'd find eight and I'd align eight in the middle of your pillow and then mark your ends, okay? Again, you're going to wanna to make sure that whatever your measurement is, you have enough foam mat. I knew that my small little half rainbow was going to fit in the side, because what I did is I took my foam, and I wrapped it around, and I was like, that is totally enough room. I can use this foam piece. If yours doesn't, just by kind of like gauging and wrapping around the foam piece, then make sure you have a big enough piece or you center it just so that it will fit. We have done our measurements side to side, accounting for the wrap over. We've done our measurement up and down, accounting for the wrap over. I'm gonna set this off to the side. And then all you have to do here is line up the arc. You won't be able to line up your oval with your marks because again, these are smaller than your oval because we're accommodating for the fold over. So what you're going to do is just connect your dots. Connect your dots, that's it. That's all, it doesn't have to be pretty, it doesn't have to be perfect. Don't come at it like, oh, I'm gonna connect dots, so I'm just gonna go like that. I mean, clearly there is a curve to your shape, so you want to make sure that there's some kind of a curve, but it doesn't have to be perfect, okay? It's totally fine. All right, guys. Now we're ready for our next step. Next step is cutting out this oval piece from our foam mat. Now this is a thick foam mat and you might be thinking, how do you do that? <laughs> well, I gave it some practice. I've done this a couple times and this is the strategy that has worked best for me, okay? So I take my scissors and I hold them open and I take the end that is by itself, so not the end that's right next to the handle, but the end that's by itself and I'll line it up on the line that I've created and I'll just stab all the way through. Okay, and I'll bring it up and it makes like a little mark and I'll go down a little bit and I'll stab all the way through. And I'm following the line, making little stabs. Okay. And I do this all the way across. So go ahead and take a second and make all of your little stabs with your scissors. Okay, so once you have made all your little stabs all the way around with your scissors, that's what it kind of looks like. Okay, this part is, it's messy. So if you need to move to a spot where you can be, make a little bit of a mess, that's totally good a good idea, um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start here at the very edge, cause that's where, I'm gonna start here at this one at the very edge, insert my scissors in there, because my scissors are cleared to make a cut, okay? And I'm gonna cut down, and I'm just gonna come in a little bit more, cut down, come in a little bit more, cut down. And now I have a cut that's all the way, all the way down. And then I move in a little bit and I cut a little bit more. Move in a little bit, cut a little bit more. And I go bit by bit. 
next hole, insert, and I can make little cuts. And it, it helps you get all the way through. There we go. You can move the foam so you can see a little better. Now this part is not going to be pretty. So again, these little foam things are gonna make a little bit of a mess, okay? That's okay, we'll clean that up, it's fine. And it's not supposed to look perfect here. It's the foam part that's going to be covered up. We're gonna sew over it, no one's ever gonna see it. Okay? Great, so once you've completed that, you can remove your shape from the rest of your foam pad. Now, like I mentioned, it's gonna be bumpy. There's gonna be little, little bits everywhere. Check this out. This is how it looked for all of my other creations too. <laughs> if you have another way of, of cutting into this giant foam that you like better, then use it. This is just the only way I've been able to find that has accessible pieces from the house. Come, go ahead and clean up all your little flyaways, all your little, little bits. Clean it up just a little bit. There we go. It's okay if it's not clean. It's going to be hidden by the amazing oval rug that you have made. Okay? Okay, so go ahead and take a second, clean up your space. Okay, we have now made it to the point where we can start sewing the oval rug around our foam pad. Oh, this is so exciting. What you're going to need to pull out now is you're going to need that yarn, the yarn that preferably is the co same color, same exact yarn that you used in this last section of your oval rug. Uh, you'll also need your tapestry needle, yarn needle to help you sew the sides together, and you'll need your scissors just to cut off some slack for you. Okay, a, a good rule of thumb for this, how much yarn will you need? Go ahead and start on one side, just like that, and then work your way back. And that should be more than enough yarn to get you all the way around this pillow without having to carry around this, carry this whole ball of yarn around with you, okay? And it won't be too little, so you won't have to worry about re reattaching yarn to finish sewing the sides together. Okay, so I'm going to thread the yarn into that yarn needle I'm going to take my oval. This is the outside. This is the back of the rug. I'm going to place the foam pad right in the middle. And this is where you can adjust. If you want, you can absolutely take your tape measure and make sure, okay, starting from this side right here, right in line with where this foam is to the edge that is about seven inches Do the same thing on here also about seven inches so i'm right there if you don't want to do that you can also just bring it on the sides and you want it to line up just like that because we're going to sew those two sides together all right, that looks great. Okay, so when you're looking at your pillow, you might notice here on the side, if I sew these two sides together, it's gonna have this weird lippy thing. It's gonna kinda come out like this. Now, that's fine. That's totally fine if, if you wanna keep it like that. Or you can also fold your side in like that. And when we sew, we'll sew, sew these together and it will make a very clean edge. Okay, so I will, I'm going to choose the clean edge, but you can absolutely just keep these out, 
put these together and just sew it all the way down. Sew it together all the way down, okay? How we are going to go next. So now that we have our pelos, our oval rug, exactly where we want it, it's everything is situated, we're ready to sew, okay? So I'm gonna bring this side. Ah, it's weird holding it in certain ways. <laughs> So I'm gonna come, I'm gonna attach my yarn. I'm gonna attach my yarn right there at the corner. Okay, so now that I got that, I'm going to take my needle from the inside out, feed it through to the end, and I'm gonna tie a knot. I'm gonna tie a total of three knots, <laughs> make it extra secure. All right, so I want to fold, I want to fold in my edges and then have these join here at the top, okay? Creating that really clean look. So what I'm gonna do, since my yarn is now located right there from the fold, I'm gonna take my yarn needle, I'm gonna pop it through that stitch that's closest in line with where it's at. Okay. And I'm going to actually go down to the next stitch. Here I am, stitch. This is the one I came through from the inside out. Go down to the next stitch and go from the outside in and line it up with the other side. How do you line it up? You'll see the stitches, if you push them together, they'll just line up. Make sure that your edge, your bottom here, is in line and so it's not off kilter. And feed it through. I'm gonna start by going down. So I'm gonna go down to the next stitch from the outside in and then feed it all the way through to the next stitch down, inside out. Okay, go down a stitch, inside or outside in, straight across, inside out. Okay, next stitch down, outside in, straight across and next stitch down, inside out. Great. Okay. Continue this down until you meet the bottom. It's the very last stitch before it's folded down. And then I'm going to take it back into that same stitch that I just went into. And I'm going to come down, so down to meet up with the work. My goal right now, guys, is I want to sew this flat. See how it's open a little bit? I want to sew it flat. So I just went in there, going to come above to these stitches, below, then wrap it over, go through top, come through bottom, take the yarn over, top, bottom, okay, and now that I've sealed off this side, see how it's completely sealed, I'll go that direction so I can seal this, this side down, okay, so I've sealed the bottom part of this pillow. Now I'm going to make my way back to the center so I can come back and start stitching this all together. Okay, next stitch down, in, out. If you want, you can actually pull that tight. Okay, next stitch down, in, out. Next stitch down, so in 
and then follow all the way over to the adjoining stitch out next stitch down in out and you should be able to follow this because these are symmetrical sides you should be able to continue doing this all the way to the other side of the pillow. Just keep lining these up, lining these up. So keep going and I'll meet you on this side to show you how I will fold this in. The camera angle and my eyesight angle are different. <laughs> like, okay, so just keep sewing these together, stitch to stitch. And then at the end here, we're going to take this side and wrap it around. And then we will fold this side over, fold this side over, and then continue to sew these stitches together all the way to this join right here. And then again, we will sew this flat so they're not like flaring out. They're flat and flush, and it'll look like this side over here, which creates a very clean looking bottom. Okay? All right, so keep keep going just sewing back and forth here and i'll meet you on this side to show you how to close okay getting close to the other end here so i'm going to take this side fold it up and take this side fold it in take this side fold it in that way this bottom has a clean smooth edge here and I'm going to keep going. Okay, and then last stitch of the fold here. Great. Okay, so I'm going to just make sure everything lines up. Bring my yarn over back into that same stitch that I just came from. And I'm going to go down. So I don't want to sew into the cable stitches. I want to sew right above the cable stitches. All right. Keep going. Perfect. That's it. That was our last sew. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to re-examine the pillow, look back at everything I just sewed. Did I miss anything? Is there anything that I want to go back and re-address or re-sew together? No, I don't think so. So I'm going to come back over here. I'm going to insert my yarn back this way. So how it's already coming out, I'm going to basically loop I'm back into the same stitch I just came out of. Hold back some yarn with a loop. Twist the loop so it forms this X shape. Take your needle, go underneath. So you should have here, I have the X shape right here. So this yarn's on the bottom, that yarn's on the top. So I know that I can go down and in and it will form a slip knot just like that. If it did not stay or if it fell right out, then you probably placed your yarn in the exact same way that it was coming from and so it didn't take. So try going and doing that again but coming from a different angle and it should form this knot. I'm going to take my needle. I'm going to feed it back through the work, kind of weaving in my ends a bit. Okay, come back this way into the strands. All right, and a little bit this way just for extra security of my ends that they don't come undone.
All right, take my scissors, cut that off. Your pillow's done. And it's so squishy. And it's so beautiful, it's so cute. Now, depending on your colors, just keep in mind that two, you're gonna lose oh, an inch and a half on each side. So if you want more color definition in that last color, you're going to wanna make that last color extra wide to accommodate the wrap over, okay? But other than that, there is your rainbow pillow and it is so beautiful guys and the bigger you make it the cuter it will be all right guys i hope you have a lot of fun making your rainbow pillow if you did you might also really like these videos right here also check out that video which is just a recommended video for you to watch Thank you so much for spending time with me today, crocheting with me today. I always love crocheting with you. I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you with my next video. Bye guys.